Howdy, Possum Patty and Flat Stanley here with big news. Come on along. And the news is Stanley's in love. He has a newfound love. And though he's been on a lot of adventures that I haven't put in my journal yet, he said that I needed to skip ahead so I can journal about his newfound love. Okay, so first, let me set the stage for Stanley's latest adventure in love. <laughs> he's so cute. All right, so... Today, it was beautiful autumn New England Sunday afternoon, and there was a fine arts festival at the Roseland Cottage in Woodstock, Connecticut. Woodstock, Connecticut. And it's a lovely drive up a scenic route, 169. And I got this brochure. And this house was from the 1830s, I believe it was. And it is a Gothic Revival style. It's a beautiful cottage. And the postcard shows a little bit better. And it is like a rose pink. I know it looks a little orange there. But it is like a rose pink. And has all these Gothic features on it. And it has these beautiful, beautiful gardens. And then on the surrounding property, there was an arts festival. You know, with all kinds of fine arts. Uh, photography and baskets and pottery and just everything and so we were walking around and just enjoying the day it was a beautiful day and then we started walking down towards the food court and on the side in the barn behind the house I noticed that there was a clown yes you heard me a clown <laughs> and this is Noodles the Clown. And Stanley was so smitten with her that he had to have her his picture taken with her. Isn't she cute? And she gave him this heart balloon with the little pink pool dog on it, hanging onto the heart. So it's like a rose pink heart with the little pink pool dog on there. And he was just so excited. He loved her. She was making little balloon animals for all the kids. She was so nice. And she also does magic. Well, that really won him over right there. So she gave him her business card. This is the first business card that Stanley has ever gotten. Magic of Nancy. Entertainment for all ages. She has performed at the White House. <laughs> Award-winning balloon sculpture. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's so good with the kids. It was such a wonderful experience with for Stanley that he's just like, he says, you got to go home and you got to put her in the journal right away. I have all these other adventures that I need to journal about. But he said, no, no, you got to go home and put her in the journal right away. I said, okay. I'm still working on, I don't want to show you yet, but I'm working on more pages in the other journal. And um, that'll be coming up pretty soon. It's just that I'm using the really old paper, you know, that's like, what, 85, 90 years old. And every time I put down a piece, I have to kind of seal it on the bottom and on the top and then, you know, wait quite a while for it to dry. But I, I am working on it and I will get back to that soon. So I have the postcard. Now, we didn't get to go inside, though. It was closed that day. So I guess you have to go from spring to the end of September. And then they'll take you like an hour-long tour of everything inside the house. I guess it's all still set up like it was back when the original people were there. And there's even outbuildings and things. And they'll even take you on a tour of the... Uh, beautiful gardens there. Stanley did enjoy the gardens. He wanted his picture taken over by the flowers. I couldn't believe how lovely the flowers still were because 
You know, we've had frost several nights now. But maybe these hedgerows kind of protect the flowers a little bit. I don't know. But the flowers were looking great. I couldn't believe it for October. This late in October, the flowers were looking awesome. So I have a postcard. I have two pictures of Stanley. One with Noodles the Clown and one with the flower garden. And I have this picture of the house at Christmas time. At night, there's a Christmas tree in that beautiful, beautiful window there. This is the side of the house that faces the road. And you can just see the Christmas tree in there. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I guess this was the summer home of these people. And they were pretty well known. They entertained there a lot. Four different United States presidents came there. They bought a carriage from Ulysses S. Grant. It, it's in the, um, over by the bowling alley. There's a bowling alley in the back building there. Um, so I guess they lived in New York City and they came up here, you know, for the summer. This was their summer, summer home. So nice little summer cottage, huge, right? So I love this with the purple on the snow and stuff. So I decided I would put this in my Harry Potter October journal. And, you know, I, I've done quite a bit in here already. This was last year I was working on this. Oh, uh, this was a swap and glue from Deidre. Isn't that nice? Um, this is the one I did the, the light up robot in it. Love it, love it, love it. So much fun. I'm such a big kid. I know, I know. I'm such a big kid. So, looking for a page. There's nothing like here at the beginning. I'll make sure that robot goes off. Where is it? Yeah, okay. It's supposed to run for 20 seconds and go up. Look at this purple. I just want to put that purple right there on that beautiful paper. I know it's Christmas, this is my October journal, but you know me, I love to smash things in. Now, I was going to glue this down, but if the information is on the back, I probably could cut it down somehow. Tip it in. I need probably need to cut it a little bit so it fits on the page. And this is kind of big. Hmm. Hmm. Mamma mia. Okay, I gotta figure this out. I could trim it. Trim it a little bit. So I could have one page with the postcard and the picture of Stanley in the garden. And then I can have a, I can put that over here, right? So if I put that over here, and then Stanley's picture, and then tip this somehow. Ooh, like this. Can I tip that in there? I'll try. And then I still have this. Then I have a blank page over here. All right, let me look around to see what else I have. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting there. I found this brochure. It's Connecticut's Historic Gardens. And it does have Roseland Cottage, and I got a passport stamp right there because that's where we were. It does have some in the back, but I could probably just paste that right there on this page. And there's the cottage there. And this journal is already chunky. Um, I could put the cottage postcard there. There's no information on the back, so I can just glue that right down. 
I put Stanley's picture and this I wanted to tip in and then I could I could I could I could I could make this page about Noodles the Clown and that would give me <laughs> give me like a four page spread of course, some of these pages are little. So I think we're going to start there. I think I'm going to start there. Stanley's going to have to go over to the other table. And, okay, the first thing I'm going to do, because I really, really, really love this purple, is I'm going to trim this a little bit, and I'm going to glue it down here. First thing. Then I'm going to see how I could tip this in here and then journal about noodles over here. Now I was wondering if I could make a little pocket with something and this way I can keep her business card in it. Okay. Let me start because you know when I start then things work out. Just got to get started. Just got to do something. Right? Am I in frame? I got all this stuff on the table. Have I cleared it off? No, it's terrible. It's really, really bad right now. Really, 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 really. I'm going to take off just a little tiny bit of the sky. Just gonna glue it down. I don't have to journal there because I've got it over here, all the information. And I'm gonna grab a piece of paper, my glue stick. Okay, move that out of the way. And there's my bird clock right on schedule. Love this purple picture. Okay, now one page done. <laughs> Now I'm going to trim this, I think, down to the end of this area here. I really need to clean off the desk. My space is getting this big now. manageable and I could have it sticking out because that doesn't matter what matters is I don't want to cover up the word so maybe I could put a strip of something on this side okay I found some scraps from this paper pad uh, this is Michael's Dia de los Muertos from, I don't know, is this last year or the year before? At least last year. Very colorful. There it is right there, Dia de los Muertos. Um, yeah, I'm, I use this in, also in my Frida Kahlo little golden book. So I'm thinking using these flowers and if I could just bend this 
the very, very narrow strip. Can I do that? Very narrow. And put some really good glue on there. Will this work? Because I don't want to cover the words. You gotta work with what you have. Got a, there was a lot of wildlife um, photographers at the art show. I think there were more photographers than, you know, artists that painted. Not that photographers aren't artists, but you know what I mean. Canvas. And there are photographers who did their photography on, like, metal. It was, like, shiny, like, 3D-ish, holographic kind of. One lady had such interesting work. Of course, you're not supposed to take pictures of their art. I did have some business cards here I picked up. I could use in my little journal. Okay, now I'm thinking, putting that there, and then gluing that down, and then I can cover this strip with something. Oh, here's the date. The house is 1846. 1846. Grab another piece of paper here. See if I can get this done. So I promised Noodles the Clown that I would send her a link. So if you're watching Noodles, thank you so much. You really made Flat Stanley's day. And he really appreciated the heart balloon. He loves it. And that is just about possum perfect. Just about. Make sure it's in there. Give that a second to dry. And while that's drying, I can do what? Let's see. Okay, so what I want to do is put a little pocket on here. I really love this. What if I put a whole strip on here and then I'll take the bottom piece and add that for a pocket and this will hold this on here and then I could put Stanley's picture with new, oops, sorry, noodles here, and how's that? I think we're going to do that. I think, I think, I think, okay. So what I want to do, always about the paper engineering, Let's cut that about there. Cut that about there. All right, let me get that cut. That has a bend in it, but we're not going to worry about that. I think I'm going to take just a little bit more off the bottom yeah that's good so 
what I'm going to do first is... glue this to here and then I'm going to glue the whole thing in and then I'm going to put on the pocket. <laughs> it's always a process. Oh, is this almost empty? I got a bunch of these that I bought at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. These are little beacon glues, kind of like Fabri-Tac. Good to use when you're doing moving parts. This says foam and poster board adhesive, but it is almost the same thing. Uh, I think it's got a little slightly different formula so that it is uh, it works good on the foam. I know I have my little spreader card here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Table is getting to be ridiculous. I can tolerate a certain amount of mess. I like a certain amount of mess. <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta clean it off. And I went down to the magic basement and brought up more stuff for the Halloween journal because that's all downstairs. So let's see. A little bit more at the top. Right about there. Now I'm going to get my hinge, my hidden hinge in there. How's that? That works, right? That works, that works. Okay. More glue, more glue. Aha, there it is. There it is. This isn't even on my list of things to journal about that I made the other day. write it on there then cross it off like I you know like I got something done <laughs> like I got something done big glue big glue when possum patty glue something down possum patty wants it to stay down Okay, so let me move the garden the garden pieces next. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it. Get that out of the way. Okay, you make a little pocket. A little pocket, a little pocket, a little pocket, a little pocket. Don't lose Noodles the Clown there. Okay, let's see. Should I make it the same size and then it can be like a hidden pocket? Let's do that. Let's do that. Don't want it too deep. Because I want the business card to poke out. Okay, when I do pockets, I also use this glue for pockets and hinges, things that move. Okay, that looks good. Glue it on three sides. Okay. 
We had a beautiful New England autumn weekend. The weather was gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to give that a minute to dry. Okay, so while I was gluing this, waiting for the little pocket to dry there, a little extra glue there. There's always extra glue. Extra glue or not enough glue. I went ahead and I glued down the garden brochure, and I just glued it down so I could open it up, and I glued just glued down the cottage like that. So we're coming along, and I had an idea to put something here in the corner. So then you'd have to open that, and then there would be a pocket, and turn that, and then this would come out, and then there would be a picture over there, and a picture over there, and something in that little pocket. So I'm thinking about putting something right there to kind of make this like whole thing a package just like that so let's see going back we can put noodles card in here I'm not going to press it too far in because that's probably still drying and we're going to put noodles picture up here like that and I'm not going to put a border on it because I love this paper for the background. I'm just going to kind of line it up here. Oh, I should put something on here. I'm going to journal on this card. Okay, the back of this card's a little shiny, so I'm going to let that dry for a moment. And I think I will put Stanley on some flowered paper for the flower garden here. And I'm just going to write the date at the bottom. And then I'm going to find something to bring that all together with. So I'm going to, we're almost done here. measure this out. I want to put like a little flower border as best I can. See if this fits. I'm trimming the paper so that there's you can see flowers around. See if I put it in the middle like that you've got flowers all around. Like that. Okay, now let's see if I can get the picture on there. Get this glued down. So I hope you all are having a wonderful fall. This beautiful weather goes by so quickly. Before we know it, the leaves will be on the ground and the weather will be frosty. Okay, now I just need to get the glue out again. What else am I going to do? All I have to do is, I think, is write the date and then go find, I have something in mind for the closure, but I have to go find it. So hopefully that doesn't take me too long. I just threw that on the floor. <laughs> I threw that on the floor. There, that is very pretty. 
very very pretty okay I'm gonna go look for my closure thing to put here and write the date okay so this will be it the first page is a wicked collage I've got a wooden die cut and a wooden hat from the Dollar Tree all oh, this one's painted this one's got paper and glitter and a little bug there I got the Dollar Tree tool and the Dollar Tree creepy cloth picture of my sister as a witch tool material stickers doily first page all done up second page we have the Roseland cottage there in purple snow we have the brochure tip in there we got noodles the clown with Stanley and the heart balloon and I made a little pocket there for her business card so we don't forget her and then we have the historic gardens passport folder and Stanley in the garden and a postcard of the cottage itself it's gorgeous so we're going to go back in the spring and take the tour of the house and the gardens but that is Stanley's love and I have balloon animals stickers somewhere somewhere I have balloon animal stickers I can't find them but I figured that would be perfect for this page because she gave him this balloon heart with the animal and what I'm going to do is come back in the morning and clean off the desk and maybe I can find them I know they were here I just saw them the other day so they, they can't be too far away so I just want to thank you for coming along today to learn about Stanley's new love Noodles the Clown much appreciated I want to wish everybody happy junk journaling and happy fall y'all bye bye